Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Hero Factory review. And today's of which is on uh, Rotor and Von Nebula, the ultimate villain sets from 2010, of course. So on the front of the boxes, you see the picture of the set that comes within LEGO Hero Factory logos, and also the names, odd symbols, and the age group as set number and the amount of pieces and from the make creators of Bonacle and from the makers of Bonacle characters of course top so which does have actual size of the helmets although Von Nebulas doesn't count as an actual one because it's multiple pieces of course and on the back of which you see a picture of them fighting off a couple, some of the hero sets and how to all the features of them. And yeah. <coughs> Bless me. And on to the manuals. Same pictures on the front of the boxes and everything. On the back, Evil Wing Kid. And then, out of Lego Club, Villains and Heroes in Action. And then, out of Mock Hero City and most of Hero Factory and stuff with HeroFactory.com and the pieces that come with it. And then, Rotor, final building steps and his features. There's a lot of villains. And add for some summer 2010 uh, Star Clone War sets, of course. And then Rotor fighting a uh, Ferno bike. And then We Build Heroes promotional poster. Same advertisement. Same thing. Same stuff. First of all, with Rotor here. And he, which kind of one of the more impressive villain sets of the way. So, like, for the feet of which, same as uh, Potok in uh, the Fantoka wave of Bonk sets, and the Shingard pieces, but in orange. Nice for mocking, of course, and also, they do have that perfect also notice how con differently connected they are with the uh, other pin connectors where unlike with meltdown explodes had different kinds that make them rattle a lot like so although some people kind of did that on their sets of course but anyways have the rock feelings in black and also the lake piston pieces in orange so other than just in silver, which makes it blend in with the color scheme. So, major props to that. And <coughs> also, do get some like scrawl armor there. And also, if I remove this, then there's those Viserac limb pieces, but with the holes on the sides of which, just like we've also had in the Glatorian Legends line, of course. but also in black, like in the Thornass V9 set from then. And for his torso bit, which is kind of similar to some Titan sets, where comprised of mostly a Toa and Ica torso piece, and the rest of which built similar to that of the other villain sets, of course. And for his helmet, of which. Still on a Glatorian head, of course, but although it doesn't have any uh, holes for the eyes, of course, although in the mini series, it, uh, which he did well have eyes shown there. Although this piece also used on Vapor, of which also next, next throwback Thursday, his review also had the same piece, but in blue, of course. And he did, of which have two of these 
uh, two pieces in orange, uh, which is nice for mocking. So plenty of orange provided for him, like also these Nika shoulder blade plates, as well as these Thorax launcher pieces, so, or otherwise now used as meteor launchers, of course. And as for the back of which, also those uh, like jetpack pieces in orange as well. <clears throat> and also the Metrumatoran limb pieces acting as a heavy uh, holding kind of feature. Sort of like what uh, Tuma Takanuva Mystica both had. <coughs> And also, as for his main rotor, which gives him his name, which is made of Rutaka's blades in black, like we've seen on Tuma, of course, and he can spin it around like so, and also can tilt it up and down, at least the head of which is positioned perfectly for such things. And for his main weapon, which is just a uh, Apatoran jetpack piece, but probably just used as a, a gun or or gas sprayer, of course. Since in some of his pic in the pictures, he's releasing some kind of gas. That is it for the rotor, and now onto the main villain of the first wave of Hero Factory, Von Nebula, of course. From first glance, as you see, that the legs of which built a little differently, like other than just more scrawl armor, but the uh, pistons are shown in the front of the legs rather than in the back of the legs, and of course the rocky limbs, but put backwards, so making it quite different than most other uh, titans as we've gotten. So probably showed how Hero Factory being more different than Bonacle. Since Bonacle was, of course, biomechanical, but Hero Factory just mechanical. And of course, have the Metro feet, toy Metro feet. And that flop a bit to go work with the pistons. And not sure why they these Technic pins were just sticking out for that. I think they should have just used uh, shorter ones, of course. And if you look on the back, you see like a couple of uh, like holder bits to it, like we've seen with most other Titan sets, of course. And the, but whereas the chest plate and other things built kind of similar to that of Tuma, well, the whole builds similar to that of 2009 uh, villain set Tuma, of course. But instead of a Nika torso, it's actually but just a little smaller, of course. But the torso is just mainly a, a, a Makuta Fantoka's uh, body piece, but just without the Triax pot feature in it. And as for the arms of which, built similar to that of some villain sets, but not at all any uh, elbow movement, unless if you had one of the lightsaber rod pieces to fit right in there and work perfectly. And of course, Gatori neck pieces and uh, all black Paraka foot pieces. Although in the mini series of which did have a thumb added onto it, which you can do yourself. And also do have the large spiky pieces like we've seen on Explode of the Wave. But in, but in black with blue bits on them, probably to represent the black hole he's creating, or creates. And of course, on for his main back of which, since he's kind of hunched and all, does have the uh, Borok faceplate pieces in all black, of course, like we've seen with the Exotoa, of course. And as for his main helmet, or otherwise mask, and how the head's built like is just a regular Gatorian head, but with these Mantax claws on the sides. And the mask of which is just a uh, Hydraxon's mask in black. So this was one of the only times they ever did that, where they reused a 
Mask of Bonacle in a Hero Factory set, of course. You know, the only time we had the Mask piece was in Silver, of course. And as for his main weapon, which is just a pair of Alpha Torn Select Blades, of course. But I tend to do that since to spin around, of course. And of course, for the main source of which is a, a Triax pod, but instead of trans orange, it is in black and blue kind of mix, representing the black hole power to it. Although, you, uh, oh, whoops. Although you can kind of it make a pedestal for it and make it look like it's been locked away and all, which in the breakout episode, uh, which was like. So now, about to, now on to the verdict, final verdict of these two together, of course. So overall, these I think are uh, pretty cool sets for the time. Like, you get plenty of nice recolors in silver, in orange, of course, and also some interesting techniques building techniques used with Von Nebula and, well, both of them, of course. There's like some neat techniques like the pistons in the front of the legs and whatnot. And also fun to rotate a uh, rotor's uh, propeller, of course. There's, and of course, they, and of course, Von Nebula, quite all right for a set of course although the build may have been kind of similar to that of Tuma's but at least it's a little bit different of course and well at least they did quite all right for the wave of course and if you still have these sets from back in the day well I hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets I say truly go ahead and get them eBay Bricklink whatever and that's about it with this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.